So this video will be a step-by-step -step guide to creating a simple promotional flyer design for a real estate brand. So without further ado, let's dive into the design phase. So I'll have to create a new file on which we'll be designing on. And over here, we'll have the new document panel that actually comes up. I'll be setting the unit of measurement in inches, 4x4 of height and width. Resolution can be set on 300. The color mode remains on RGB because I intend to make use of this content across social media platforms and across other devices as well. So you can choose to give your project a name over here and leave other settings the way they are and hit the create button. So over here we have the Canva workspace on which we'll be designing on. The first thing I'd like to do here is to drag in the resource files I'll be using for this design. Do well to check the video description, you'll find the link to the resource files in the video description. So guys, here are the exercise files I'll be using to create this design. So in the first phase of creating this design composition, I'll have to create a solid fill background to fill up my Canva over here. So I'll select the background layer and slide over to the adjustment, enable the solid color and sample the color over here. Here is the hex code for the color to be precise and you click on the OK button. So right here we have an image of a building which I shall be using for illustration purpose. So I intend to right click and convert it to a smart object. I always advise you to right click and convert your image to a smart object so that whenever you scale it out, it won't actually lose its original uh, size, okay? So I hit Ctrl T and take this down like this. Okay, so after I'm done, I'll click on the check button. So moving on, I would like to add depth to this image. So I slide over to my filter all the way to the camera roll. So over here in the camera roll, I would like to enable the before and the after so that I have a good preview of what we are actually doing. Please, when working with the camera roll, there are no actual rules governing this. This is more of an eyeballing situation. It will allow your eyes to actually guide you. So I'll start by working with the basics. Over here on the basics, I like to enhance the exposure a little bit. Okay, so it is more of an eyeballing situation. This is the before and this is the after. So I would like to also work on the contrast by enhancing it a little bit. The highlight as well needs to be brightened up a little. Okay, so after I'm done with the highlights, I would like to add more depth to the shadows as well by scaling it up this way okay the whites as well needs to be enhanced okay brighten up the white and likewise the black okay needs to be reduced or boosted up rather the black needs to be boosted up okay and uh, looking over here we have to work on the clarity and the textures for the textures i like to scale it up like this for the clarity I like to take it up like this okay so moving on I'll slide over down over here and enable the details over here on the details I'll like to add more depth to the sharpening of the image okay it is more of an eyeballing situation the noise reduction should be enhanced as well I think this radius is good so this is the before and this is the after and I can choose to click on the OK button. So this is how we have the image looking like. So looking at this image, you notice the image is highly exposed. I would like to add depth to this by applying the curve adjustment and click on the clip mark so that the effect will be only on the image, okay? So please take note that when working with the curve adjustment it is actually made up of three regions over here we have the highlights uh, this middle part we have the mid-tones over here we have the shadows so i like to take down the highlight a little bit this way like this and take down the, the depth this way likewise leaving this as this okay so this is without and this is with the curve adjustment to be precise so moving on i like to create a feel of a cloud over here and in order for me to do this i actually created a new layer and picked my brush to be precise i am making use of uh, my flows and opacity setting them 100 percent to be 
precise right click and select the brush okay in the video description i will add in the link to the original brush okay i actually got this brush from from resourceboy.com okay you can do well to check the link in the video description you'll see the link to resourceboy.com they provide you with, with wide range of resources that can help your design project so you can choose to give it a fill color of your choice and apply it to anywhere you intend to use it on your design project okay that is in terms of that so this was how i went about achieving the cloud okay so i would like to delete this i've already created the cloud i'll be using for the illustration over here okay so i'll hit ctrl t drag and place it around somewhere here like this okay so i've created the cloud image i'll be using for this so i would like to scale down the opacity for this to around something like this okay i need to fade it out of focus because i would like to place in the text information around somewhere here like this so moving on i would like to enable the logo of the brand here is the logo so i would like to place it around somewhere here like this so i'll click on the check button so before moving on i would like to enable my guides okay so i'll enable the guides over here and enable the new guys layout so i'll be setting this as follows okay here are the parameters i use in setting up my guides so i'll click on the ok button for that so moving on i would like to select the solid fill layer over here hit ctrl shift n to create a new layer and call this noise change the mode to soft light enable the 50 percent gray option and click on the OK button. Right click and convert the layer to a smart object and slide over to filter all the way to noise and add noise. So I would like to add a few, little feel of noise to the background. Here are the parameters for the noise 5.28% uniform is the distribution. And this is set on monochromatic. So I'll click on the OK button for that. So after I'm done with that, I would like to place in my information so i pick my text to and place in the information i'll be using over here so i'll start by placing the information where they ought to be on my design so i'll start by placing in the theme of the design over here okay for this i'll be making use of a font called gotham And I would like to change the font style to Gotham Black. Okay. So hit Ctrl T, transform it out, place it around somewhere here like this. Okay. Somewhere here like this is okay. Pick your move to make adjustments to this building by taking it down like this okay so i like to select the text layer for this come over to my character panel please you can turn on your character panel over here from the windows and you have yours over here so i would like to adjust the space between the text by adjusting the leadings like this okay so moving on i like to select this particular line of text over here and change its fill color to this to be precise here is the hex code for the color so that's for that so moving on i would like to also place in the other body of text by making use of the font called Montserrat for this so i would like to scale this down and place it around somewhere here like this that's for that so i would like to also change the fill color to this I'm trying to create contrast so moving on i also like to create another text over here so I'll check ctrl t to transform it and place it around somewhere here like this scale this down okay 
so i would like to change its fill color to this okay it's already set on white that's the color i intend to use for that so i like to arrange my layer so i'll select the first layer holding shift select the last layer of the text and choose to scale it out something like this it's actually okay okay that's for that moving on i can choose to place in the essential services the real estate is actually giving out for those who actually purchase any of their buildings okay these are the various services that comes with the building package okay such as safety power hospital basketball water good water supply and among others so instead of actually itemizing them by make use of icons that can represent that particular information so i use the icon that represents that and placing those texts actually beneath them so moving on i would like to place in their contact details okay so hit ctrl t transform this down like this okay i would like to create contrast by highlighting this and changing the field to this you know changing I like to change the font style under the category to regular or let me set this to medium and I like to select this and change the fill to the same value of this as well okay for this I'll highlight it and change its font type to bold I like to scale this a little bit to around regular hit ctrl T you can scale this down and we are actually good to go so i can still choose to scale down the size of this like this check come over here to the character panel adjust the leading that is space between text on the vertical axis like this so you can also come over here and pick out the address of the of the office of the brand so this is their actual address okay this tutorial is just for educational purpose this is not an actual flyer okay so i'll create contrast as well by reducing this to let me see regular thereby creating contrast as well okay so i can still choose to okay leave this like this or increase the size of this to this okay thereby making this actually stand out from other uh, set of text okay so that is in terms of that so moving on to the final part of this i would like to add more depth to this design so how do i go about this i would like to stand visible by holding ctrl shift alt e okay i stand visible over here so i right click and convert the layer to a smart object after i'm done converting it to a smart object i'll slide over here to filter and all the way to the camera raw so over here on the camera raw i would like to add depth to this image to to this design by actually coming to the basics okay add a little feel of exposure in this way the contrast can also be taken up like this the highlight as well can be scaled down okay likewise the shadows as well can be enhanced okay this is more of an eyeballing situation the white as well on this can be taken down reduce the saturation of the white Okay, the black can be enhanced by adding more brightness. The textures can be boosted up to around something like this. I likewise the clarity. Okay, so this is more of an eyeballing situation. So I'll slide over here to details and add a little feel of sharpening to this image. And likewise, 
noise reduction can be applied to this as well okay that is in terms of that so moving on i would like to apply color mixers to this on the color mixers i'll be working on the saturations so i'd like to scale up the orange level to this something around this the yellows as well can be enhanced the green as well can be enhanced okay i like the color to pop so the blues as well can be enhanced a little bit okay so that is in terms of that so moving on i would like to add a little feel of color grading to this so for the color grading over here on the mid tones i like to add a little feel of yellow over here okay for the shadows i like to add more of blue to this likewise on this other end on the highlight i like to enhance the reds as well okay so this is without the color grading and this with the color grading so you can see the effect on the image so finally you would like to apply effects okay so i like to boost up the effects this way by enhancing uh the vignetting at the edges of the image so i'll add more vignettes to this image like this and over here on the feather i like to soften the feather this way okay so that is in terms of that so i'll boost it up the more okay so this is without and this is with the effect okay so after you are done you can have a preview of before and after this is before and this is after then you can choose to click on the ok okay so i think this is actually nice this is without the camera raw and this is with the camera raw you can still turn off the layers and make your adjustments if you are done stand visible again by selecting the all pamus layer here and hit ctrl shift dot e after you are done convert it to a smart object you can hold out and drag and apply the effect to the newly adjusted uh, layer or you can still choose to take the design a step further by adding more depth or adding a, a color lookup effect to it by selecting from the preset of color lookups over here or make use of the one that actually give the right feel to your target audience or actually communicate the right message to your audience okay so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of today's tutorial if you do find this tutorial helpful do it to give it a like do it to smash the like button right away if you are new to the channel and you are yet to subscribe do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content and if you are returning subscriber guys thank you for always watching thank you guys for always watching please and please do it to share this content with other creatives around you do well to share this content with them so that youtube can push out this content to other creatives that might need it okay and if you have your questions or comments do well to leave your questions and comments in the comment section i'll be attending to them so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next